for the sign of Libra, hello and welcome to my channel. Let's see what's going on. So, Libra, in the recent past, we got the Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. Now, the Eight of Pentacles, it points to necessary efforts. You probably had a lot on your plate that you needed to get accomplished. Dedication would have been important, but if you let it work for its own sake, it could have been counterproductive. So you knew it was important to be clear on what you were trying to do or accomplish at that time and strive for balance because no one can or should work all the time. Now this Eight of Pentacles, it can indicate a period of very hard work. And this doesn't have to be a negative thing, but you must have needed to prepare for it. Now this Eight of Pentacles is with the Six of Cups, which is a card about nostalgia, looking back on how things used to be. It can be, but not always connected with children or childhood. So it's important not to spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days because we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time. But if we start to think that the best of all the years have gone by, then that can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. Now, this Six of Cups, when it talks about love and relationships, if you're in a romantic relationship, it can indicate that the relationship may need to be refocused towards the future. Now, Six of Cups, it also signifies that there could be a reappearance of a long-lost love. So, someone from the past returning. So... Basically, Six of Cups and Eight of Pentacles for the recent past, which could have been last week, it could have been a month ago, it could have been six months ago, or more. Recent past, Eight of Pentacles, Six of Cups. So it looks like in the recent past, you worked really hard. Uh, maybe you were, well, it looks like you were working hard to come together with someone that you knew long time ago. Someone from the past was trying to say hello or maybe you were trying to say hello to, to them and you were putting a lot of effort into it. A whole lot. Just to, just to make it happen. Or this could have been your person. Maybe they put a lot of effort and energy into coming together with you. Someone from the past. Or you or this could give, let me give you another storyline. Or it could be that in the recent past, um, you thought a whole lot about um, the happy memories that you had with someone. A lot. Yeah, you put a lot of effort and energy, or too much energy, into thinking about someone from the past. But I'm picking up that you put a lot of energy into trying to meet up with someone from the past. Now, let's move on over and talk about the present time. So... Present time, we got this Eight of Swords, and it's with the Page of Cups. Now, the Eight of Swords, it could be that you're holding yourself back because you're afraid to move into the future or because you're afraid of getting hurt by a new situation or it could be for no reason at all. So try to think through what it is you're afraid of. The truth of the situations, they're probably much less frightening than your mind is making it out to be. Now, this Eight of Swords is with the Page of Cups, which is showing a need to play, dream, have a little fun. When this card appears, it means that you could be taking yourself too seriously. There was a poet that once said, The one important thing that I've learned over the years is the difference between taking one's work seriously and taking oneself seriously. The first is imperative, and the second can be a disaster. Now, the Page of Cups, just keep in mind, when you hear the word page in the tarot, that's a youth, that's student, that's immaturity or someone younger than you. So, 
for the present time coming up towards the end of July. Could go into August. It looks like you are... Um, it could be someone that you might be interested in or someone could be interested in you. Maybe it's this, maybe it's this person from the recent past. Maybe. Or maybe it's the person that you're dealing with. You're interested in this person, but you it looks like you're afraid that you could get hurt by this situation or this person. Because you know that this person is a time that is really casual. They're not really serious with the Page of Cups here. Um, and they might just be looking to have fun. Okay? Page of Cups. They might be... You might see them as immature or younger than you or just not as mature as you. And it's causing you to just be afraid to open up. Because if you see the Eight of Swords, the card that's above the word present, this man, he has all these swords in front of him and there's a fire behind him. And he's just stuck there because he's stuck in his head about the situation. He could easily put one foot in front of the other and run, but no, he's afraid to move forward. So this person, it looks like you might be interested, but you know, you kind of, your gut is telling you that this person is, that they might be just just trying to have fun. We're just in it for um you know they they wouldn't take it serious this connection. Or they're not taking it serious. So you're afraid to move towards this person. Could be someone new or maybe this person we just talked about from the recent past. Now let's take a look and see what the challenge is. So we got the four of wands and the chariot. Four of Wands, it's showing that you could be attending a special event. It will be way more fun than you're anticipating. It's saying to go, you'll have a great time. Business is likely to be going really well. You could be, you could start to feel proud of yourself and others will be proud of you also. This Four of Wands is a very positive card in the tarot. It shows that you need to keep your wits about you. And that you should treat yourself to some fun. But just know you're still in a building up phase and now is really not the time to rest completely on your laurels. This card can sometimes mean that you might also be thinking about moving. Moving your place of residence. Now, it's with the chariot, which indicates a lot of energy, but it's not a free-for-all energy. This energy is directed, it's controlled, and it has a goal in mind. So when this card appears, you're likely to be fairly clear on what your hopes and dreams involve and what you're willing to do to make them come true. This card is about being determined, very ambitious, getting things done, testing, improving, that you've got what it takes. It's a sign that you should move forward with whatever you have in your mind and in your heart and give it your best shot. Remember, though, you'll have to... You'll need to use both your intellect and your heart in order to truly be successful. So the challenge is, it looks like you step out of your head and you put one foot in front of the other. And you, it looks like you'll be coming towards this person and they'll be coming towards you even though you think they, this person might not be exactly what you're looking for or you might think they're immature and when you two come together it looks like it looks like you two could come together with this four of wands and um, you'll have a great time now the four of wands it's about um, marriage long-term commitment so this person could be telling you a lot of things that you want to hear especially if you're interested in commitment and then it looks like things take off really fast. Because this person is telling you what you want to hear. 
So you might be falling for what they're saying. And it's just the the relationship it takes off fast. You guys just jump right on into it and it goes a hundred miles an hour. So I guess yeah, that's a challenge. I guess because it looks like uh yeah, it looks like you guys have a great time. If you could see this four of wands, <laughs> these two people, they're looking directly into each other's eyes. And their face is glowing. It's, their faces are beaming. Just beautiful, this four of wands. So you guys, have, it looks like you guys will have a really great time and enjoy each other. And it goes really fast. Everything is just beautiful and it's just taking off like the speed of lightning. So the outcome is the Two of Swords and the Tower card. The Two of Swords, it tells us that your partnerships, they're likely to be going somewhat well, whether it's friendship, romantic, or business. But you should consider the depths of your commitment to equality in these and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your person. And if you are not, it could be time to bring things back into balance. Now this Two of Swords is, is also could mean that you're ignoring some warning signs, ignoring some red flags. Um, you could be making a difficult choice. Or you could be avoiding and blocking someone. Now, it's with the Tower card, which can be about trying to hold too tightly to something. It could be a disaster if you do this. Because you have to roll with the changes. Could be that some people, situations that you had counted on, they may no longer be there in quite the same way. And this doesn't have to be drastic. Because we all know change, it's the nature of life. So if we try to prevent it, it could be like trying to roll upstream without a paddle. Also, if you've been building some castles in the air, this could be the time that some come falling down, crashing down to earth. Now, this is only a problem if you let it be because you can replace them with some more realistic and reachable goals and dreams. If some of some fantasies fall apart this month. So, with the Tower card, you're you're enlightened by this by this disaster. You're enlightened by something that falls apart. So the outcome, the Tower card and the Two of Swords. So it, it looks like. Whoever this person is that you you got together with, showing here for the challenge, the Four of Wands, it looks like things went really well. Things took off really fast because you two were really happy to come together. It could be the person you're dealing with, could be could have been someone new, or like I said, it could have been this person from the very recent past we talked about that you were, that you might be planning, or that you were planning to meet up with, or you did meet up with. And it looks like um, now, for the outcome, you or this person, they just, you or they, they start to block, or it seems like they're avoiding you. And it looks like it falls apart. The connection falls apart. So, Libra, just take this reading as a warning. Uh, if you plan to meet up with someone, or if you're getting together with someone, it could be someone new, someone that you know, it looks like um, because you guys just jumped right into it, 
really fast because everything felt so good here with the Four of Wands. And then you were hearing things that you've been wanting to hear, but you knew in the back of your head, or you knew from a couple of days ago that this person is the type that doesn't really take things serious with the Page of Cups here. But when he looks like when you finally came together with this person, they they just made you happy to see them. And they start telling you things that you wanted to hear. It took off really fast. It felt right. It felt good. But like I said, it looks like you start to block this person for some reason. Or they start to block you and avoid you. And it just seems like it falls apart. Yeah, so take it as a warning. Maybe you might, might not want to rush into anything coming up in uh, late July. could go into August. If something feels good, if you're hearing, if it sounds too good to be true, then just kind of just take it slow. Take this as a warning. Don't rush into it if you don't want a tower moment. Because that's what this reading is saying that could happen. And you might feel like somebody's ghosting you or you, you're you ghosting them for some reason. It's good, then right around the corner, bam. Just falls apart. So just take it slow. Especially if it's someone that you're unsure about. And it looks like you could have been unsure about this person. But when your eyes met, you forgot all that went out the door. You forgot about all the warning signs. Warning signs. Warning signs. Warning signs.